Are you still trying to get this smooth fade up logo animation in After Effects so that your edits don't look like shit anymore? Well, don't worry, because today I will show you step by step how you can do it and all you need to know. And in my case, I chose an axe that I'm gonna have fade up in this clip of Alan Wake. And as you can see, I already prepared the text, so now I'm just gonna drag the object that I want to use onto my timeline. As you can see, I have this X right here. And now what we're gonna do is once we've added the object onto our timeline, we're gonna go ahead and save it. Select the layer, go into our layer field in the top, and select Auto Trace. Now here you're going to select Work Area, leave these settings, how they are, and press OK. Now this process is just automatically going to detect our edges and create a mask around them that we can now use to make our logo fade up. And once you're done, you should see that you have a new mask on your object. So now to open that, press M while having the layer selected. Select the mask, in my case it's yellow, and press Ctrl and C to now copy it, and we're going to add it onto a new solid layer. Now to create a new solid layer, we're going to go ahead and press Ctrl and I at the same time. As you can see, this will open up this little extra window, and as a color, I'm going to select black, press OK. Leave these settings how they are and press OK again. Now select the solid layer, and press Ctrl and B to paste the mask onto it. Now you can go ahead and delete the original object layer, because we're not going to need it anymore. Next, we're gonna go to our effects and press its panel and search for the saver effect. Drag it onto your clip, and now to actually make the fade up animation, we're gonna have to tweak the settings a bit. So just follow what I'm doing. We're gonna go ahead and open the customize core setting, and instead of saber, have the core type selected as layer mask. Now next, open the render settings, scroll down, and instead of having the composite setting as black, we're gonna put it to transparent. Now also in my case, I want to change the color of the object. So I'm gonna put it from blue to red. And as you can see, there's still a lot of glow in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the core size from three down to one. Now this already looks way better, but because I don't want my animation to be in the middle of the screen, I'm gonna adjust the position. To do that, just select the black solid layer, Press P on your keyboard to bring up the position in keyframes, and now play around with these settings until it fits your liking. Now because I want my object to fade up in the back of my text, I'm just gonna center it like this. Now to add the actual fade up animation, we're gonna have to add some keyframes. And to do that, we're gonna go to the point in time where we want our animation to start and set a keyframe for the start offset. Now put the value from zero up to 100%. Go to where you want your animation to be finished, which is for me gonna be around here, and set the value down to zero. Now press U to bring up these keyframes, select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Now by easy easing our keyframes, we added a graph and therefore made the animation look way smoother. Now because I want my animation to be a bit longer lasting, I'm going to now select both of the keyframes and while pressing down Alt on my keyboard, I'm going to drag them ahead. Now last but not least, we're gonna add some movement to our animation, and to do that I'm gonna use scaling, so go ahead and select your solid layer, press S on your keyboard to move up the scale property, go roughly to where the animation starts, set a keyframe here, and I'm gonna put it down, move to the end where you want your animation to be finished, and put it up to what value you like which for me. Now when we play the clip, we can see that the animation is slowly moving towards us, which in my opinion fits perfect to the text. And that's it. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below 